I know it's been a while since the last video, even though I may be sad that I'll upload my next video sooner. But for my defense, I have been working on the project, not as much as I wanted to, but at least something. Last time, I showed you how I made my game go from this to that by using normal maps and some other tricks. This time, I'm mainly going to focus on how I implemented the game world. But before we start, let me show you some honorable mentions. Most of the small changes were visuals or little bugs that I took care of. For example, objects are not able to receive shadows casted by another object, which makes the game look much better in my opinion. I also implemented the first mob, Blue Slime, which is very original, I know. I added a building system, which means that you can now build, and at the same time I implemented a crafting system that allows you to use set buildings to create new items. But now, back to the main topic. If you remember how my game looked in the last video, you probably know that it was always in the shape of these floating islands. And at first my idea was to make the world a grid of connected floating islands that is procedurally generated and then filling certain islands with pre-made content. So I looked a bit around and the first promising algorithm that I found was called Cellular Automata. It's a fairly simple algorithm that generates a row of cells based on the previous one by applying a fixed set of rules. Changing the rule set changes the pattern with which the next row is generated. That way I had a bunch of generating patterns to choose from while still being able to use the same algorithm and not having to modify or recode it. So I sat down and wrote a little prototype in Visual Studio. After finishing the prototype, I tested it with a bunch of different rule sets, but I was not able to produce a reliably satisfying result. So after some good amount of wasted time, I decided to look for a better alternative. Later, I implemented an algorithm called Wave Function Collapse. This approach worked actually pretty good, but me being a dumbass, I forgot to record the final results. After playtesting though, I realized that the game did not really feel smooth and fun. So after some time, I ended up scrapping the idea and spending an entire week reworking the game concept. And one of the biggest changes that I made was going from the islands to an open world. This also meant that I had to implement a new way to generate it. To generate an open world, the algorithm has to be fast so that it doesn't cause issues when constantly loading new terrain in the background. I decided to go the same path as most procedural open world games and just use Perlin Noise as my main generating component. Perlin Noise is a function that you can put some values in and it spits out a value between 0 and 1, which you are then free to interpret however you want to. It's often used, for example, to set the height of a terrain or decide what biome goes into a certain region. The reason why Perlin Noise is so popular for procedure generation is because instead of jumping between the values, it smoothly transitions between them, creating a smoothly flowing pattern. In my case, I'm using the noise function to load a chunk from a pre-made pool. This works fine for now, but this means that in order to not have repetitive chunks, I would have to create a really big pool of options. That's why I'm definitely also going to have to generate the vegetation and resources via a separate noise function. Generating the world procedurally has the benefit that I only have to store the seed created at the start and the modifications made by the player. It also allows players to load a specific seed they want to play. Please tell me in the comments what you think about the transition from the islands to the open world, as well as you have ideas about what things you would like to see in the game. I would really appreciate that. Also, maybe consider subscribing and leaving a like since you already made it so far. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.